In this small open-air workshop in Peshawar, workers use these simple tools and flexible techniques to build a 7,000-liter super-large sprinkler truck for use with tractors. Small workshops like this one are also very professional. The workers first arrange the steel plates together according to the required sizes. During the welding process, in order to prevent deviations in the length of the steel plates, they also need to use a tape measure to measure the length. The tank also adopts a split design. After welding, they can then weld the steel plate on the other side because they need to splice the steel plates on both sides together. The size of the board is basically the same as that of the other side. After one side is simply welded and fixed by the master, it can be spliced. Before splicing, people still need to use an angle grinder to grind the uneven position. In this simple open-air workshop, we do not have high-end equipment. The rows of steel plates need to be welded on both sides to facilitate the splicing of the steel plates. The iron rings on both sides need to be welded to facilitate the fixation of the steel plates. After welding, the steel plates are tough and it is not that easy to splice. People can tighten the hanging chain at this time. After the tightening and over-adjustment is completed, the splicing joint can be welded. In order to ensure that there is no deviation in the arc of the splicing joint, the tacit cooperation of the two workers is required. The worker is responsible for limiting the steel plate and the worker is responsible for welding. They have a tacit understanding. With the cooperation of the joints, the joints are finally welded. After a period of time, full welding can be used to fix the joints at the bottom. After skilled welding, the welding was finally completed because the curvature of the bottom was still a bit off. We still needed to use a sledgehammer to hit it in order to eliminate the hard force on both sides. Since this is a water tank, in order to prevent rust and stone from appearing later, we also needed to paint the inside with anti-rust paint. After painting the inside of the water tank, you also need to paint the side covers on both sides to prevent rust. When installing the side covers on both sides, we will weld the casters for ease of installation. The the line position can then be spliced by tightening the chain. The welding process was fixed through welding. After careful welding by the master, it was finally welded. It was easy to install the base of the water tank. We also needed to turn the bottom of the tank over. The base was also made in advance to confirm the arc. We also needed to measure the base on site. Then use the chair boots to cut the base. After cutting the base, you can use electric welding to weld it in place. The connection between the seat and the water tank is fixed by full welding. There is no welding protection inside the water tank. Corrugated. After the very solid base is welded, you can now turn the water tank and install it on the bottom plate of the trailer. The installation position of the water tank and the trailer needs to be measured with rolling paper, and then the installation position can be adjusted by dropping the chain. The connections on the sides are also welded and fixed by electric welding. After welding, because the trailer is all made on site, the axles still need to be installed on site. In order to facilitate the installation, they also need to use the drop chain to adjust the trailer. The decoration we gave is simple and not stylish. We also need to cut out the water spout on the top of the can. The spout is then cut out under the skillful control of the master, and it is already cut very quickly. When you come down, you can weld the water inlet and the upper cover in place. The water pump workers on the surface are also installing the water pipes connecting the water tanks. The position needs to be measured on site before welding. The axle on the welding surface also needs to be measured and installed on site. The entire production process is because there is no Almost all the drawings of high-end configurations are based on the master's mind. Although the suspension steel plates are all used car parts, although they are car parts, the number of screens will definitely not cause problems. The axles are not used together. Of oh. After the second-hand tires are installed, they still need to use an electrician to weld and install them. Then they can do the final spraying work. First, they spray a layer of yellow primer and then a bright red paint. After the paint is sprayed, this sprinkler truck is finally finished and can be handed over to the customer. Everyone feels that the sprinkler truck made in this way should be sold at an appropriate price in rupees. 